Welcome to 5-Minute Chapters, the podcast where we summarize important writings on education and learning. I'm your host, Daniel Bow, and in today's episode, we'll be discussing how to implement techniques from Dr. Robert Marzano's The New Art and Science of Teaching. Specifically, we'll be diving into Chapter 1 and exploring how to provide clear learning goals in the classroom. So let's get started. In Chapter 1 of The New Art and Science of Teaching, Dr. Marzano emphasizes the importance of providing and communicating clear learning goals to students. Clear learning goals help students understand what they are expected to learn and how they will be assessed, leading to increased engagement and motivation. They also assist teachers in planning instruction and assessment more effectively. This chapter outlines three essential elements for providing clear learning goals, providing scales and rubrics, tracking student progress, and celebrating success. Let's begin with the first element, providing scales and rubrics. Scales and rubrics play a crucial role in helping students understand the progression of knowledge they are expected to learn. While rubrics tend to be specific to one task, scales are more general and describe a progression of knowledge or skill. Dr. Marzano highlights the use of proficiency scales, especially for academic content. These scales provide a clear framework that allows students to see their growth and development over time. Just imagine it as a roadmap for their learning journey. If you want to take a look at a sample scale, check out Figure 1.1 in the book. <clears throat> Moving on to the second element, tracking student progress. It's essential for teachers to collect data on student learning and progress. Dr. Marzano suggests using various types of assessment to gather formative scores over time. These assessments can be obtrusive, meaning they interrupt the flow of classroom activity, or unobtrusive, allowing the learning to continue uninterrupted. Additionally, students can be involved in generating their assessments, giving them a sense of ownership over their learning. Teachers can also use different approaches to generate summative scores for proficiency scales, ranging from using formative scores to designing specific assessments. To implement this element effectively, teachers can guide students in setting goals relative to specific scales at the beginning of a unit or grading period. Students then track their scores on that scale throughout their learning journey. At the end, teachers assign a final or summative score to each student for the scale. It's not just about individual progress. Teachers can also track the progress of the entire class by highlighting the percentage of students who scored at a proficient level or above for a particular assessment. Celebrating growth as a class can create a positive and motivating classroom environment. The third element in providing clear learning goals is celebrating success. Dr. Marzano encourages teachers to celebrate two types of success, status and growth. Status refers to a student's score at a particular moment in time, while growth is the difference between a student's current and initial scores. It's important to celebrate both individual student achievements and the progress they have made. Teachers can celebrate students' status at any point in time, including at the end of a unit or grading period. By specifically highlighting what students did well on a task, teachers can emphasize their effort and growth. Imagine the pride on their faces when they realize how far they've come. Additionally, teachers can celebrate knowledge gain which is the difference between a student's initial and final scores for a learning period. By acknowledging and recognizing the progress made, teachers can inspire students to continue their journey of growth and improvement. Before we wrap up, Dr. Marzano also emphasizes the importance of clear definitions for terms like proficiency scale, rubric, learning goal, learning objective, learning target, and behavioral objective. These terms serve as the foundation for effective communication and understanding between educators. Dr. Marzano suggests that districts and schools should operationally define these terms, ensuring consistency within their educational communities. Providing clear learning goals to students is a fundamental aspect of effective teaching. When students have a clear understanding of what they are expected to learn and how they will be assessed, their engagement and motivation soar. It also helps teachers plan their instruction and assessments more effectively, ensuring maximum learning outcomes for their students. 
That brings us to the end of today's episode on implementing clear learning goals from Dr. Robert Marzano's The New Art and Science of Teaching. We've explored the importance of providing scales and rubrics, tracking student progress, and celebrating success. Remember, clear learning goals set the foundation for successful teaching and learning experiences. Thanks for tuning in to 5-Minute Chapters. I'm your host, Daniel Bowe, reminding you that even teachers need cliff notes sometimes.